photographer and you feel stuck or just want to grow in your craft, you might have had some of these thoughts. You know what I need? I need a new camera. No, a new lens. Yeah, that's what I need. Or maybe I need a new set of Lightroom presets or Photoshop actions. Or I should go to a workshop. And why does the voice inside my head sound so echoey? Well, I have an answer for you and it's not one of these things. And better yet, it's not going to cost you a penny, so stay tuned. Something you may not know about me is that I have a degree in music. I studied voice at the University of Minnesota, and I have a BM degree, Bachelor of Music. And when I was in college, it was important that I grow outside of classes and lessons. And that meant hours and hours in the practice room, almost every day practicing. Uh, scales and songs for my recitals and imagine if I didn't practice and all I ever did was went to lessons and classes and then tried to do a recital. It would not have been very good. And that made me think about photography. Most photographers I know, once they get to a certain level of comfort with the camera and their images and their business, they stop practicing. They only pick up the camera when somebody's paying them. I even saw Facebook post or comment recently that said never take photos for free and I about fell out of my chair because I take photos for free all the time for myself and for others and I believe that practice is one of the best and most quick ways to grow as a photographer when I'm out with a client I am not that's not the time for me to practice that's not the time for me to risk and try new things and go outside of my comfort zone that's the time for me to take as many great images for that client as I can. And so I believe in taking times outside of client interactions where I go and I try new things, I try new lighting, I play with different lenses and different angles and I fail a lot because that's the point of practice. Now I'm not saying that I don't sometimes try some experimental things when I have a client in front of me because sometimes something really cool presents itself and I always check with the client, hey, can I try something a little out of the ordinary just so they know if it doesn't work, they're not expecting something out of it. But really the best place to experiment and grow in your craft is when you don't have the pressure of producing images for a client. This is also the place where you build your confidence. I've been a photographer now for about 14 years and it would be pretty easy for me to just sit back, relax, keep doing what I'm doing, it's working, but that's not really my personality. I want to be the very best I can be, I want it to stay interesting, I want to push myself to try new things. And back in 2011, I did a 365 project where I created one image each day for 365 days, and it yielded so much growth for me. So here I was seven years later feeling like, what do I have left to learn? What can I grow in? And I thought, you know what? It's probably time for another 365. So every day this year, I have picked up my camera, chosen a subject, and tried to make an interesting picture. Some days are better than others, and we had this endless winter, and I was getting tired of photographing snow, but I still pushed myself to do it, and I'm really enjoying it, and this time I'm actually writing some personal journals along with the photos. Um, I'll link it in the description below, so if you want to go check it out, you can. But my encouragement to you is to not wait until somebody's paying you before you pick up your camera. Grab a friend or someone you know who maybe can't afford photos and go out and just play and practice and try new things. You cannot expect to get better if your camera sits on the shelf and you just look at other people's photos. You need to be going out and making images. And make sure the person you're photographing knows that you're doing an experimental session so that the pressure is low on you for producing images. And in the end, you will bless them with photos and bless yourself with new skills and more confidence.